Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us read the question. In the given figure, find the values of x, y and z. We know that opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. That means angle B must be equal to angle S. So angle X will be 100 degrees. And we can write that angle X is equal to 100 degrees. Also we know that BE and TS are parallel sides of the parallelogram. We know that angle X is 100 and this is a transversal. So angle X should also be equal to angle Y as they are corresponding angles. So we can write that angle Y is also equal to 100 degrees as angle Y is a corresponding angle. Angle to angle X. Now angle Y and Z form a linear pair and we know that sum of the linear pair is 180 degrees y is 100 that means z is 180 minus 100 so we have angle y plus angle z should be 180 degrees as they form a linear pair but angle y is 100 degrees plus angle z is equal to 180 this implies that angle z is equal to 180 minus 100 that is equal to 80 degrees third property of parallelogram says that adjacent angles in a parallelogram are supplementary. Let us consider the parallelogram ABCD. Then adjacent angle means angle A and angle B or angle C and angle D. Also angle B and C are supplementary and A and D are also supplementary. That means basically adjacent angles lie on the same line like A and B are lying on the line AB. In parallelogram ABCD we know that AB is parallel to DC. Then AD and BC are the transversals this implies that angle A plus angle D should be 180 degrees and also angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees because both these angles are interior opposite angles. Similarly, we know that in parallelogram ABCD, AD is parallel to BC. Then AB and DC will be the transversals. These two are parallel lines. Then 
ए बी एंड डी सी विल बी द ट्रांसवर्सल्स एंड अगेन बाय द सेम प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ पैरल लाइन्स इंटीरियर एंगल्स विल बी सप्लीमेंट्री दैट मीन्स एंगल ए प्लस एंगल बी विल बी वन एट्टी एंड एंगल डी प्लस एंगल सी विल बी वन एट्टी हेंस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ पैरल लाइन्स हैव हेल्प डस प्रूव दैट एडजस्टेंट एंगल्स इन अ पैरलोग्राम आर सप्लीमेंट्री Let us read the question. In a parallelogram, R I N G, measure of angle R is seventy degrees. Find all the other angles. We are given that measure of angle R is seventy degrees. Then by the property. that opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal angle n will also be 70 degrees we also know that adjacent angles are supplementary that means angle r plus angle i should be equal to 180 degrees similarly angle n plus angle g should be equal to 180 degrees so let us find the value of angle i we substitute angle r as 70 degrees plus angle i should be equal to 180 degrees this implies that angle i is equal to 180 degrees minus 70 degrees so angle i is equal to Hundred and ten degrees, or we can say that measure of angle I is equal to hundred and ten degrees. So our angle I is hundred and ten degrees. Then angle G is also hundred ten degrees, as opposite angles of parallelogram are equal. That means we can write. That measure of angle G is equal to hundred and ten degrees. Next property of parallelogram says that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. That means. If we have a parallelogram ABCD and we draw both its diagonals AC and BD, they bisect at a point O in such a manner that OB is equal to OD and OA is equal to OC. Now let us look at triangles AOB and DOC. in these two triangles ab is equal to dc by the property of parallelogram also angle 1 is equal to angle 2 as they are alternate angles similarly angle 3 is equal to angle 4 as they are alternate angles hence we can say that triangle aob is congruent to triangle doc and this implies that ao will be equal to co and bo will be equal to do and so we have proved that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other let us read the question in the figure hlp is a parallelogram lengths are in centimeters 
given that OE is equal to 4 cm and HL is 5 more than PE, find OH. We are given that OE is equal to 4 cm. That means OP is also equal to 4 cm by the property that diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other. This implies that PE is equal to 4 plus 4 that is equal to 8 centimeters. In the question it is given that HL is 5 more than PE. That means HL is equal to PE plus 5 that is equal to 8 plus 5 that's 13 centimeters and we have to find OH OH should be half of HL which is equal to half of 13 that is equal to 6.5 centimeters